so I kind of did a thing. I started up TikTok, you guys. Hey, my little angels, and welcome back to another video. And yes, I did start up a TikTok. I'm planning to post once a week over there. Um, I still need to figure out how it works. I honestly never use TikTok. But if you do want my handle, I did make a sh I put it as a YouTube short as well, just to let you guys know. It's like underscore cute angel underscore. That's like my username over there. Uh, let me know if you want me to also post those same ones on to YouTube as well as a YouTube short or just leave it for TikTok. So for TikTok, I plan to just mostly make it like entertaining, nostalgic, a little bit of, I guess, informative stuff, but not as much. Like this is, this channel is mostly like just informative. So there I want to do something that's more entertaining. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any ideas, you can totally hit me up and I can see if I can turn it into a video. Of course, I'll credit you for the idea. Anyways, let us get on into the giveaway stuff first. Right. So today I'll be giving away 250 phrase coin code or phrase, however you want to say it. But that's what that's what the giveaway will find out who wins that one basically because that's what I was giving away last week. So let's get on into it. So the winner of last week's 250 phrase coin code, it's going to be Damn, okay, Elizabeth77, congrats to you. I think you also won a prior giveaway too, but yeah. Congratulations, and hit me up either on Discord or forums, you've done it before, so you know how it works. And yeah, so this time we'll be giving away a 300 cheese coin code, so be sure to enter, and good luck. Okay, so let's go on into the letters. And last time I was able to do the green screen rocket thing, so we shall do it now. We want sham rockets! <laughs> you forgot to wash the steak, you forgot to wash the steak! Just kidding, who even does that? Baby, I do not know what was gifted in this one, oh my goodness. I can't see, oh I think it's a um the small sham box, the one with the colored pencils in it, or crayons, small, small sham box. I think that's the one that this was, because I cannot see it now, and I remember that one. <laughs> hey, well, 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 J, J, G, P, J, B, G, P, J, G, 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 What do we have here? TFM player getting gifted a shop item. OMG, new shop item. OMG, detractors. OMG, I'm fighting over a push pop with a shark, and it's a flute. Fun fact. I used to play the flute. Mm, it's been a while. I should try picking it up again because it's literally just sitting in my closet. <laughs> I should give that a shot because why not? Anyways, picture this. The crimson paw. Picture this. The crimson paw. Picture this. Crimson paw. Blah, blah, blah. The crimson paw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and next, event farm. Mm. Yeah, I think, I'm not sure, I think they were following me around. <laughs> but yeah, I pretty much finished on that first day when the Lua came out. If you guys didn't realize, a new Lua called Bounce Lua has come out and it is, it's like, it's actually pretty fun. It doesn't feel like it's grindy or anything, it's not grindy, so it's pretty short. And it's pretty fun to do. Although you don't, you can't farm tickets on there. A lot of people have been asking so much if they can get more tickets afterwards and all, but it's like the admin's decision and it's come down from there so it's not on the event squad at all so even they've tried to ask them but the admin are like nope it's all good the way it is originally we weren't even supposed to get any chests so no back to school chests and no um what's the other one piloting hot air balloon chest thing so they added that in last minute so to speak so considering they were even able to add chests like that's the really big thing so honestly thank you for being able to do that so please don't keep asking them about the tickets because that's not going to change. It's an administrative decision, not the event squads. So just letting you know that. And we have Tomazo who sent a box face as well. <laughs> You're not a lobster right now. Okay, Chris, fashion show coming soon. So yeah, apparently he's like, okay, you want to host the fashion show? I'm like, sure, we'll look into that. Like whenever they're free. Anyways, cutie facts, we do have a fashion show thing we're doing a bit more regularly, like we're back now. So we do have a week-long fashion event thing going on, and the prize right now is 400 fries, 450 fries, or that can go to your cutie facts bank if you want to save it for later, or you can get a fur. So 
we have that going on right now and it's going to end this Saturday. Like be sure to join our Cutie Facts Discord server. The link is in our prior live stream videos and or you could just DM me and I'll give you the link. So be sure to join. You just literally it's just one outfit. If you win, you'll get a, f a whole fur basically <laughs> for doing one outfit in this case. it's You can use slash dressing. It does not have to be your items and you'll submit to either one of us and we'll post it all together on Discord later on to prevent anyone from cheating or trying to copy someone else's idea. So that's why we're not posting it from the very start, but we'll post it once it's over and then we'll judge. And yeah. Shepsia! It is a wings! It's a rat! It's a rat with wings! Like, <laughs> it's flying up so cute! Is that a heart or like a broken heart? And then you have stars around. So cute, Shepsia! <laughs> there are my OG outfits with wings and a halo! And it's winking too! Last star! Last, yeah, last star! Evie! <laughs> we had it. We had the Eve fur on sale recently, so I'm thinking it's related to that. Oh yeah, this was me replying to them. <laughs> so in our tribe, basically, they were doing a giveaway, and I won that one, so I was like, yay! So I got the monkey tail! And it's gotten different customizations now. Oh, I also recorded an outfit video with like three or four different furs. Three different furs? Yeah, I think I, uh, yeah, I, think I did two banana-related ones. One... I don't know why the antelope one, for some reason, the masculine one was like a bit challenging to me. The hyena fur, oh gosh. I am not good with really, really dark furs. So I challenged myself, but I think it turned out decently as well. But anyways, yeah, for the banana one, one of them I actually used a tail before the new customizations came in. So you'll be seeing that one, which has only four customizations. Now I think it has a lot more. I'll let you know more about the customizations as well. But yeah, thank you so much once again. Soon, soon. Hello. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, that's actually a pretty decent handwriting for a card. <laughs> Good morning to you, too. And these are what's coming to store. We were not able to guess the fur. or Well, okay, the tail kind of was guessed. But anyways, the other stuff we didn't know except for the fur. And so, oh, okay, actually it came out last night. When they they'd posted it last night. Anyways. We have the griffin fur, another bird-related fur, well, yeah, kind of bird mythological creature. Now we have another mythological creature that can be used, spiky goggles, which was actually supposed to be a prize if the monochrome side won, which did not. That's why we had the rainbow hair, short hair, because that's the side that won. But this was a prize, so if you have a prize that has not that did not make it, there's a good chance it can come later on. I'm not sure about the theme. Oh, wait, no. The theme, I guess, kind of makes sense because we have, it would be related to the Lua, I guess. So you have bounce Lua, so you're up in the air and the clouds, so you have something that can fly. Rockets can also shoot up into space. And I don't know about the spike part, but the goggles is like usually like aviators that have goggles on. I do not know anything about Gon, but maybe they have some power. They can do something related to like air or something i don't know or they can bounce i have no idea you can let me know i think it's from hunters x hunter i think it's from that anime because i google searched it up before <laughs> so i was like who is gone i was trying to figure out if there's a theme going on here but anyways so you have gone's hair as well so yes yay to masculine hairs but i have found out when i was trying to make outfits if you want to add a head item it's hard to add other variety of head items with masculine hairstyles you can do the basic, the really, really basic head items that work with a lot of the masculine hairs, but most of the masculine hairs are going upwards, so any head item would either cover it or have stuff sticking out of the top, but the front will seem really bald. There are a couple of them which are fine, the ones that have hair that come towards the front in this area instead, so those work, but most of the hairstyles are sticking up, so we need a variety where there's masculine hair that's sticking down here or from the sides, so that if we use a head item, it will still look decent. We need more masculine hairstyles for that. That is why I was actually struggling with the antelope one, because I was trying to make it work, but yeah, <laughs> without trying to make it too basic, so we had that. But anyways, had that. So those are our four items, and of course the badge. Here's your HD quality badge. So cute. It's like so peaceful, basically. <laughs> thank you, Rick, for sending it to me. They like DM'd me it, so I was like, oh, thanks. Makes my job easier, so I don't have to go and ask them later. <laughs> and 
tier zero more pixelated version of it, which you can see when you open, that's your banner. This is your banner image basically. And we have more customizations. So this is for next week and this is for the week after that. So these are the customizations that are coming up in the next two weeks and the ones for today, they made this one lighter. So as you can see, this is not as dark. Neither is this shading. Um, okay, maybe it's just my eyes about that. So this is the main thing that's like not so dark, this whole palette. So that's nice. So even if you did a light color, I think it would have had a darker shade to it. So I think I'm pretty sure I've showed you that before, but I never paid much attention. This is today's customizations. I think that's the neck item. That looks big enough to be a neck item. And they redid the monkey and this. So there are five items of which these two are collectors. So we have these redone customizations. Let's go and check them out. Oh, what? Okay. Anyways. Okay, so we're back with Fufi's dress room tool, which is always amazing to use. And okay, so we have the, this one. We have more color options so you can change the bubble color. Ooh. Oh, the outline is still really dark. I don't think I can do this one. Can I make it all the way? You won't, it'll be hard for you to see the other stuff, but let's see if we can do this. There we go. You can see it as big as possible. So this is how it, so it has a two-toned color here and it has an outline of a different one. So whoop, those are your colors there. And then you have this, this part of it. <laughs> and then we have this part of it. So this was like before, basically, before we only had like these two colors. Why am I doing this? I don't know because they're already different colors and then we have okay so you have the outside frame of it which is going to be a little bit transparent like so if you do it you can see through it see you can see the outline so it's a bit transparent so you have your different colors and then we have the inside tint mainly you'll be able to see this part of it the like lightning strike thing that one will be much more obvious if you do this one <laughs> so there you go those are your different customization options for that item then we have this one let's bring it back up okay you have your rim the rim of the glasses let's just go with that and then you have oh each of these you can do it individually now all right so they changed that up and then you have the nose bridge area which is also a different color so there you go that's how you can do those now and then we have, those are the two eyes. Let's go for the ear, I guess. <laughs> eyes, okay, you know what? Yes, now I'll put the ear back on. Now it's lighter in color, so I mean, there we go. And <laughs> so you can make it totally white. What happens if we do this one totally white? Okay, <laughs> you'll be able to see the outlines at least, so that's there still. This, I'll do white. I mean, I could leave the colors as is. You already know what all these colors are gonna look like. I, which one? Oh, no, 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 purple. Click on that and then I can go here. You have those and then we have the paint bucket paint. There is, okay, there's not much shading on this one. Okay, there is a little bit of a color difference, but over here it's like you'd see the outline. Those I don't think you can change. The, um, What is this part? Yeah, okay, this is a whole bucket itself so we'll have that a different color tip of your paintbrush paint on that one that's a little bit darker though see even if you do it white it's gonna look gray so that's still gonna remain a little bit dark it's okay then you have the rest of the paintbrush <laughs> this one will actually turn white if you keep it white then you have your darker gray here even this one will turn white let's see boom so it's just this thing where I was like, you cannot change those little tiny bits of it, but it's okay. So you can't make this whole thing black. You'll have a little bit of a color there. So there you go. That's your ear item. And let's see what we have next. Neck, neck, neck. This one. <clears throat> oh, you can change individual spike colors now. Okay. Honestly, I don't think that's that big of a deal. But I mean, I guess you could do white and black. You can alternate stuff. So that, I guess, would work. Oops. Although this does not really look white because <laughs> it's going to be in the shade. But anyways, there you go. You can do that. I mean, red, red, orange, yellow. Let's go yellow, green, blue, purple. Like, 
Okay, we already have a pink, so mm, that can be dark in color. <laughs> I don't know which color I should do. But anyways, you have that. Ooh, so colorful. <laughs> and then we have the tail item, and then I think we're done with the redone customizations. Okay, I'll show you the new ones after that. So we have this original one. Originally, I only had four colors, as you saw last week. Now you can individually color these. So we'll start with the red. Orange. Oh god, this is going to look hideous, but okay. Yellow. Green. Okay, the eyes. <laughs> oh gosh, light blue. Then we can do dark blue. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't even know what's going on with this. Purple. <sighs> okay, that's cute. And then we have white and brown. So this is very hideous looking thing that I've created here. <laughs> I cannot do it. Okay, so they turn it so you can actually make it into a lemur still if you wanted to. But it looks so creepy. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, many different color options. Now let us look at the newer ones that have come into. So we have a new tail. There's so many tail items that are coming out so recently. Two in a row now. Okay, we have this rocket ship. Oh, but then again, if this didn't, if this side didn't win, we wouldn't have gotten that tail, so... Never mind. Okay, there are a lot of colors on this too. Okay. So we're going to start with your red, orange, ooh, okay. Yellow, green, huh. I would expect them to do the white and then go inwards. This, this outside to in, and then go down. Ooh, we have different colors for flames, and it's like, what do you call that thing? Like ombre? I love that blue for the tinted okay you can have it be completely one color or if you do it lighter you'll be able to see a bit of a difference if you do it on the lighter side if you do it white it'll be completely white but if you have a lighter color you'll be able to see that oh look so it has like a whitish color difference if you do it darker it slowly blocks it all out i really like this i wish they would do this for a lot more other stuff too because for them if you go completely it doesn't completely color it the way it should be but if you do it partially, you're able to see that. So I really like that about this. Like, they should do more of that, honestly. So I'm going to keep it a little bit here. And then we have this. Huh, I wonder why they didn't decide to just... Okay. So it has a little bit of a shading there. And what colors do we have left? Purple. Oh, they made this lower half one whole different color. Huh, why does that look so pink? If I did that... Okay, so this purple is not purple. Okay, there we go. We had to make it dark to make it purple. It's white. This is not going to be your accurate representation of color if you want to do it midway. Let's see. Okay, they lighten up the color even more. Like this is orange. Oh, wait, this is so weird. If you do it halfway, your orange is not orange. Now it's yellow. It's the next color over. So yellow is going to be green. So yellow's okay. I mean, yellow is kind of still yellow. Let me turn this to black. Okay, yellow is still yellow, but this orange is... Okay, you can have it be proper red like that, but if you want to do it part way, that's going to kind of end up being like orange, right? Uh, okay, that's white. Okay, this one doesn't... It looks kind of pinkish. Now it looks yellow. Like, over here it's orange, but over here it's yellow. And then your yellow is still yellow because that's a lighter shade. Green is still green. It's turning to blue. This is... Okay. Okay, it's so darker shades of the color that take a little bit longer to get to that color. Because I was like, this is like totally purple, and over here it's like totally pink. <laughs> okay, pink is still pink, and then you have your red, which kind of look kind of looks orangish. Okay, but anyways, those are your colors, and that is that. So pink, so there you go. I like the rocket though. It's nice. <laughs> And we have, what other stuff did we have? We have our fur. I mean, you can probably already go and see the colors for the fur. But in case if you really want to, here's your white. Um, brown. Yeah, this shade. So you mainly have three different shades. And then if you want the inside of the ear, if you want the inside of the eye, which is similar to the ear, and then this brown is like brown. There's your hand color, which is similar to the ear. It's the same as the ear, actually. So you have white, this yellowish golden thing, 
then you have this brown and you have this light color so you have these four colors as your main colors for this fur and what other things do they have let's delete that head hair 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 yeah so we had a new hair item so it's this spiky thing two colors yes it's gonna be two-toned so there you go your two colors i personally i don't think i would really use it or buy it like look at that it sticks out of a lot of things <laughs> i know a lot of people who like that anime they would probably really enjoy this but you can do that <laughs> but for the most part i mean it's not really my thing because see spike sticks out of the top okay i would never really use this item so that could work i guess <laughs> but personally i wouldn't really use this hair so hmm. let's see so that's your hair we had the tail we had the fur and then we had the spike goggles correct should probably take off that head item eyes let's go to the eyes i feel like this video is dragging on way too long i'm not trying to do that on purpose i want to be faster it looks like you can't see the eye on the other one. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> The way it's done, it's like as if it put it over the other eye, but the other eye does not exist. Like over here, it goes off, so it's okay. It goes off the side of the face, so that's why it's okay. But here, it's covering it, and here, there's no eye for this side. Oh my goodness. Okay, that looks a bit odd. So, of course, once again, let's go to the colors. So you get the sideband, which it's going to be gray as your white, so it's going to be a darker shade. Then you have the middle band. All right. Go to orange, yellow, green. I mean, why did they just do an order? Like, why did they jump around this and that and this and that? It makes it confusing when you have to try to find the customizations. Like, tell me, I'll reorder them. I'll tell you the order for them. <laughs> It'll just make everyone's life easier, trust me. And they, okay, they said, decide to the inner two spikes a certain color and the outer one's a different color. All right. Like, that's fine and all, but... There is no order to this. Like it's hard to tell if you you'll have to mess around with each color a little bit to try and figure it out, which can get quite annoying and kind of deters us from wanting to use those items as much. But there you go. Those are your customizations and all. So you have your spike goggles. Also, I probably wouldn't use these either. Main thing I'd go for is obviously the fur because I want to hoard all the furs. But if I was looking at it, hmm, what I want this for, oh, let me take off the eyes. That is not helping. What I want this for, hmm, it's actually, it's a nice basic fur. If you don't have other, hmm, what do you call these, bird related furs, so to speak, then sure, you can go for it. It has a lion tail over here. It has like owl wings, especially, yeah, the owl, where's the owl? This one. It has a downward facing one, but still. So if you don't have a bird fur, you can totally go for it. It's a decent basic fur, but if you want just basic furs, I'd probably go for one of the other ones. This, okay, this is mildly basic. These, like the ones that are more simpler and have less on them. So these are some of your more basic, basic ones. This, okay, that reminds me of an old grand pet every time I see it, like this area. <laughs> I can't help it, it just happens. And where did the other ones go? Oh, look at the tail. Oh, the tail's a bit different. So yeah, these, this is your basic, this is a basic. This is a different kind of, not excited, this is a different kind of basic. So this, 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 like these are one of the ones I'd probably go for more if you want just a basic fur to deal with. Because this one has more going on. But I would go for this if you want a bird related fur. <laughs> but either ways, if you have some of the other ones, I would say mm, not very high up on my list then. And the only other thing I'd go for was the tail. Not that I would really use a tail, but it looks nice. <laughs> the customizations and all, I like it. So, there we go. Now let's get on into the pricing. Oh my goodness, this was such a long video. Oh gosh. For the different colors, let's, I mean, prices. Okay, that, hmm, I'm a bit pricey for such a small item. That's your usual tail price. That's pretty cheap considering what they've been pricing stuff at recently. But then again, it's a smaller hair item, but still. That's actually a pretty decent price comparatively to all the other stuff these days. <laughs> but I'm not so I, I'm not interested in that one. But anyways, now we have your new normal pricing of the fur. Then these are from last time. And let's see. Oh, you can actually see all of these. So yes, this is the one that was hidden, but that was the one that was gifted. Now let's look at the 
collector stuff, sorry, the sale stuff first. So I guess this is another back to school theme. I'm guessing this might be the last theme because I think back to school's kind of past. Maybe they'll do something related to Balance Lua in terms of sales. And then we shall have Halloween sales. Oh, fall sales are there too. Oh my goodness, fall is coming up very, very soon. Huh, fall sale. Okay, by the next time, the next video that I record, next update video, I think it's going to be on fall solstice or autumn, whatever you want to call it. Huh, okay, so we're going to have fall sales next, I guess. Maybe for this week we're going to have bounce lure related stuff, and then we'll have fall sales, and then we'll have Halloween, and then there's Christmas. There might be more fall in between. Oh, we have Thanksgiving. I don't know if they'll do anything for that food related, but that's what I'm guessing the stuff is going to be. So we haven't seen this in ages. I mean, not that anyone would really use these. I mean, these are so big and really odd compared to if you, you can't use a head item here very well for the most part. So those are really big <laughs> compared to the rat. Like, look at the size. That's, it's the size of your face. It's like the length of your face. Oh, gosh. Then you have this hair, which a lot of people really wanted. I'm honestly not sure. I have it, but I, I don't really use this hair. But a lot of people seem to really want that hair. Seems to be very popular. Then we have this really basic fur. Definitely should get it if you don't have any basic furs. This is a good one to have. You can make so many different outfits on it very versatile. Then you have this plank, and then you have this cannon. I personally go for cannons more since fast farming you use cannons more, so it adds more variety, so it's nice. But this is honestly the top choice I'd go with first, and then this for me personally, but other people would probably go with this. So those are your sales, and like look at the pricing, look at how the price look at how the price used to be and then this is a near one so that's why it's this pricing then this one it's doable with cheese too comparatively and then we have these prices which are the same for the fries and then let's go it's a backyard barbecue that is our fashion squad outfit theme backyard barbecue i really love the masculine one a lot i like the color combinations the colors go really well together and it's like a nice pop <laughs> so it's like a chef so these are permanent furs so that's why the pricing will be a bit cheaper. Oh, it still doesn't look that cheap, does it? Is this, I think, yeah, this one's also, is this a permanent one or not? I need to check, because it, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a permanent one. My bad, I was thinking of this item, this item right here. Let's go back, because that was not, that was a collector item. That would probably come back for fall sales. So if you were looking to get that, I'm pretty sure it's going to come back for fall sales because this told, this item totally screams fall. This, as you know, this neck item has been used a lot and this is turning into a new basic item. It's being really, it's really versatile. It's very easy to use this one. I like how they did the colors on this too. So that's a collector. This is also a collector and I like this hair. This is one of the hairs I say goes well with any head item. So we need more hairs that come down in the front like this hair does. So I really like this hair. It's a two-colored two hair, I believe. I forgot the name of it. So this ha it has a long name. <laughs> ah, this is what would have made this outfit costly because of this hand item, which we already had this one on sale kind of recently, like a month ago maybe, when we had Under, Under the Sea Lua event. Then they had a SpongeBob-themed uh, sales thing. That time they added this in, I believe. So if you didn't get it then, now is your chance because it already came on sale, so it might they might take until next year for it to come back on sale, possibly. So there's that, and then you have this one, which has more collector stuff. You have your collector fur. This is totally, this totally screams like a fall fur. This is going to come back on sale as well in the next couple months, I believe, or at least till no November, September, October, November, some point in that. October is probably going to be Halloween, so September or November, I'm guessing. Then you have this one, which is like a beachy head item, so I don't see this coming back, especially because we're going towards fall, and we're going towards winter as well for the northern hemisphere is what we're mostly talking about anyways so this if you really wanted it now's your chance to get it because i don't think that's coming back soon that's a permanent item this is also hmm, that's a burger thing is that a permanent item i th think it's a collector right let's look i do not recall oh it is a permanent item there we go so that's a permanent item, so you don't need to worry about that. And then this is a collector item, which mm, I don't know, like it's nice, but I like the newer bandana neck item better. So I personally would go with the other one if I'm looking for that, but if you want it, go for it. 
This will probably come out in other outfits, I'm guessing, but not very frequently. Ooh, this hairstyle. This is a permanent hairstyle, I believe. Huh. I didn't realize they used this hair. Yeah, that's a permanent hair. If you want to know where it is, let me show you hairstyles. So this one right here. It's like Tinkerbell hair. <laughs> then we go back down. Is there anything else I missed? I think... Okay, then you have your usual contacts that they always use. So those are that. And I believe that's it for this video, you guys. I've covered everything. Yep. Hope you guys have an amazing day. <laughs> Bye, guys. Keto Chalk. As always, peace.